All right, so here is a quick guide on a boss called Ondriok. It's the second boss. In order to beat him, I suggest that you uh, acquaint yourself with key management and with uh, key pulse in order to dispel his yokai pulse that will later on um, drop on the floor. Now, he is difficult if you constantly uh, circle around so what I suggest is basically stay in front of him he will constantly do this huge attack but it is much easier to avoid than constantly staying behind now in this video I did both I went behind and I actually stayed in front and in front as you can see it's much easier to dodge his attacks you can also block his attacks but you need to be aware that if you block it once your guy will lose his key and then you're screwed if you can emulate me in this fight, I did it pretty good, uh, if I might say so myself. And uh, always also try to bring your uh, spirit weapon, limbing weapon, in this fight, so that you can always use it when need be. I used it uh, at the end of the fight, near the end of the fight. And uh, that's for the first part. For the second part, he will drop one of uh, he will drop these balls on the floor, and he will shoot you with them if you're too far away. And he will also start dropping those yokai pulls. Dispel the pulls by using key pulls. And afterwards just start slashing at him. And he is easier to avoid uh, without those chains and everything. Uh, I suggest try to avoid... Uh, try to dodge to his right side when he's attacking. Because it's easier to avoid than to left. Left side is a bit tricky to, to dodge there. Because he will then... Uh, uh, some, something uh, something's not right when you dodge on the left. He can uh, hit you easily, even if you dodge. I suggest uh, sticking to the right side and uh, use the living weapon when you can. And that's about it. That's about it, really. It's all about dodge and using key, and that's it. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you soon.